Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today I got a little Chinese dish I'm going to whip up for you guys. Got a little simple beef and broccoli dish that is going to be mm, so good, you're going to think you went to Chinatown. So we're going to get that going here on the Blackstone, and I guarantee you will not want to miss this. Let's check out the ingredients. Alright, so here's our ingredient lineup, folks. We have our broccoli, would be beef and broccoli without the broccoli. I like to add some onions, some pepper, that's yellow and red bell pepper, sesame seed oil. This is flank steak that I've cut thinly across the grain. This is the sauce. There is a link below, below, that tells you all the details of this, all the ingredients, everything that went into it. And this is just a little bit of water in case I need it for a little bit of steam. So that's it. Oh, a little clarified butter. Y'all know Hunger Hussy by now. He's going to have some clarified butter up in here. So this is it, guys. We're going to get this thing popping. It's going to be fast. All right, check back. We got our Blackstone up to, I got 485, 530 right there. So this is going to be great for stir fry. I'm going to start out by getting this meat going. A little clarified butter. And a little bit of sesame seed oil. All right. We want to put this right in the middle. You don't want to. You don't want to overcrowd your blackstone. You want to make sure you get a nice sear. This meat was seasoned previously with some cornstarch, water, a little bit of garlic, and a dash of uh, soy sauce. Want to get these vegetables going over here. Just to kind of start getting them happy. I pre-cooked the broccoli. Uh, so what I did is I just put it uh, in the microwave, uh, hit it for about seven minutes, and it's still, you know, it's not really limp, still real uh, crunchy. Meat looks great. Again, you want to even it out so you're not crowding your space. You don't want your black stone to drop in temp. It doesn't get a good, good sear. Go ahead and get our broccoli down. That's a nice sear. All right, this meat is good. You don't want to cook it, cook it to death because you got to cook it a little bit longer when the vegetables are done. Okay, so we're just going to set that over to the side. Spring the broccoli and the vegetables over. All right. A little steam action. Let's let that steam for a little bit. We're going to cut our heat down. We've been at full blast, high, for a while. So this has been warming up on high, and we were cooking on high. All right, let's see what we got. Onion still got a little bit of crunch to it. I think we're gonna let them go a little bit longer. Another couple minutes. Had to call an audible, my uh, ran out of gas. Always running out of gas.
One thing is hard to judge is how much meat to vegetable ratio. So we are going to see how much we got. Oh yeah, I think we can take all that. Looks pretty tasty. All right, I think it's time for our sauce. Just gonna whisk it up. Like I said, all the details, see below recipe for this. And I actually mixed a couple batches of this cause we like a lot of sauce. All right, here we go. More of the sauce. Well, I'd say this is probably done. Get more of this sauce. I like it nice and saucy. Our plate. Well, that looks good. I think we'll finish off this sauce. Ooh. Just want to cook it up a little bit just to look at that gravy. It does have cornstarch in it. You just want to kind of cook it out just a little bit. And that's it, guys. Man, check out that. That is something of beauty. Beauty, beauty. Well, guys, there you have it. Our beef and broccoli on the Blackstone, it is done. And man, I tell you, it looks fantastic. I want to give this a try. Mmm. Well, sauce. That sauce is dynamite. Nice, rich, get a little bit of sweetness. It's got a little bit of brown sugar in it. I actually put in just a little bit of beef broth, so it's beefy as well. Mm. Super, super good. I gotta try a piece of broccoli. Mmm, that's good too. Mmm. Boy, I might have to get me a job down at the P.F. Chang's. They might hire me, y'all. I don't know, maybe not, probably don't. Now that I think about it, yeah, no, they're not going to hire me. At any rate, y'all, give this a try. Give it a try on your Blackstone. Give it a try on your walk inside your house. It doesn't matter. So, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate that like. I appreciate that subscribe. appreciate that comment. And I want you to continue doing that, too, please. So, until next time, y'all, Hungry Hussy is out.